Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Rotto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that I up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about Fife, which is a, a brand new game. Um, I'm not sure if it's out yet. It'll be out soon from Pegasus, if I recall correctly. And I think a relatively new designer, Borsch. I hadn't seen his work before. But I had checked this game out because I knew my wife... I'm not a big fan of abstract games, but my wife tends to love them. She loves theme too, but she loves when she can just think about the puzzle. And oh my gosh, this game does such an amazing job of letting you think about the puzzle. It uh, Essentially, we are digging up, finding treasures on a beach, but not really. It's just every turn, um, we've got two tiles. One one of those tiles we must put somewhere in a 5x5 grid, and the game is over once the 5x5 grid is filled in. The trick is, whenever we put a tile into a row or a column that has not previously been flagged, we have to flag that row or column as saying, hey, I've got 15 different surfboards that I can put down. One of those surfboards I now have to put on that row or column to say, this is how that row or column will score at the end of the game. For having a full house of colors or symbols or numbers, or having you know, all unique things or having straights, you know, going from one to five or, go, or you know, going through a series of colors. Each tile has a unique color, a unique number, and a unique symbol. And man, this game is, is crackerjack smart. Um, this is up there with Meadow and, uh, um, you know, and other games, and, you know, because uh, uh, Village Green, this really reminded me a lot of Village Green, that incredible complexity of, oh, it's so simple, just place a tile somewhere. But then as soon as you lay down one of those outer tiles that determines how that row or column or diagonal is going to be scored, suddenly you are making yourself miserable three turns from now when you can't when you can't get the right tile. But hey, sometimes out of the bag, there will be these special um, wild cards that let you activate one of, I think everybody gets nine or eight different wild card, no, seven different wild card powers that will let you break Break all the rules, but every time you use those wild cards, you're throwing points away. So, is it worth doing? Jen loved this game. I think this was her second favorite game of the month, which if you want to know more about, you can check out the monthly Jen Jogs, which is a show that I do for um, Patreon backers of the show and also for members on YouTube. She loved this game to pieces. I liked it a lot. I just wish there was a theme. I wish they just hadn't thrown up their hands and said, well, it's abstract. We can't really make a theme here. Because you totally could have. Instead of a themeless sandy beach we're on, why aren't we looking through a microscope at a petri dish full of amoebas and other microscopic life forms? And we're trying to do experiments. We have to get them all together. We have to group them in certain ways. We have to um, you know, label them numbers one through five. It would suddenly instantly be a thematic game because we're trying to manipulate these scientific experiments. And it would still be bright and cheery and colorful, cute little pictures of amoebas rather than fruit um, on the beach, but it's okay, it's okay. It's a great abstract game, and if you like abstracts, you definitely have to check out Fife. F-Y-F-E. My wife loved it, and I think the gameplay is brilliant as well. I just wish they'd done the tiniest bit of extra work to really ground it in a theme that I could, that could capture my imagination. And more. thanks for watching, okay. folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.